What a great night. Gorgeous dress, worthy cause. Parties don't get any better. I'm sure Maxine used to was the belle of the ball. No, I was just a girl in a fabulous dress, but that's what it was for. I was just wearing this so it could be seen, bring awareness to women's heart health. You know, for the record, Johnny's awesome escort services aside, I would have much preferred that you be there. You mean it? Yeah. Your oodle's more fun than Johnny. You always make me smile. And I know I don't tell you this enough, Spinelli, but you're my best friend, and I don't know what I would do without you. I return Maxine's to sentiment a hundred times over. Hey. Where did you go? I guess it's all this talk about heart awareness, but it just makes me think of BJ. Oh. The late, deeply lamented cousin Barbara Jean whose transplanted heart gave Maximus the precious gift of prolonged life. It's true, Spinelli. I would have died if I didn't get a heart transplant. BJ's school van getting hit by a drunk driver and me needing my transplant in the same day that... Even after all this time has gone by, it still blows my mind. I mean, Bobby and Tony lost their daughter like that they they kissed bj and sent her off to school she never came back but they didn't hesitate i mean they gave me her heart and it was all downhill after that i mean i sometimes i think that if bj had been the one to survive and maybe maybe not me Everyone might have been a little better off. Not me. I'm not sure you're aware of the profound effect that you've had on me. My... My heart is full of you. My feelings long since passed the point of friendship. And perhaps it's time to just bite the bullet, as it were, and say the words. With all that I... Maximista? <sighs> Perhaps it's just as well. Cover your loveliness so you don't catch a chill. Oh, pink roses and chocolate. They must be your favorite too, whoever. Wait a minute. I just attended the Kimball's Gala in a custom-made gown. The paparazzi told me I looked beautiful, and let's face it, I did. I even said I was attending because I care passionately about women's heart health awareness, which I, I do when I take the time to think about it. But I lead a very busy life, and who really wants to dwell on the fact that they're only alive because they're the recipient of a heart transplant? I swear I'm going to go straight to heaven now that you're going to marry me. You know, people might doubt the level of your sincerity when they hear you talk to me like that. I can look into your eyes and see that you mean every word of it. I know you love me. Oh, great. Not only am I dead, but everyone's better off without me. Oh, great. Here come the lovers. Here's the bitter one is jealous. Perhaps because she has no significant other to gaze upon her with rapt devotion. 
Are you kidding? I'd rather choke on Sakurai than be in a relationship like that. Oh, please. Like, you and Johnny are 10,000 times more goopy than that. You know, the chances of any man pursuing you for anything other than carnal relations are slim to none. At least some of us get to have carnal relations. I right. love my ring. It's classic and beautiful and staying on his finger for the rest of my life. <laughs> Can you take your order? I've had enough of the lovebirds already. Yeah, no problem. Lulu's still a waitress. <laughs> hey, BJ, Matt. Hey. Good morning, Mike. Yeah, you ready to order? Yeah, um, I'll have scrambled eggs. Mm -hmm. Matt wants waffles, and we'll both take a glass of V Fusion. All right, they're coming right up. Thank you. Thanks. So were you able to lock in the wedding day? Yes, we are on for June 21st at St. Timothy's. That's great. That's, that's awesome. Okay, more importantly, the honeymoon. Where, where shall we go? Well, I don't know. Do you think the busy neurosurgeon could take an entire week away from the hospital for me for a wedding? Okay, Lulu, I'll give you this much. They are a little gag worthy. Just answer my question. I am sure my highly competitive brother will not mind taking my cases for a week or two. Are you still going to ask Patrick to be your best man? I am going to ask him today, yeah. Will be excited to hear that I ordered my bridesmaid dresses and they're gorgeous. You can order as many as you want. I'm not gonna be in your wedding. Why not? Because I think marriage is a waste of time. Once two people tie the knot, novelty wears off, familiarity breeds contempt, and before you know it, the two of you are divorced. Yeah, that's optimistic. Yeah, well, I don't believe in love. Well, I guess we're really lucky that we do. Um, Lulu, since when do you not believe in love? You know, that tattoo down the back of your neck is very sexy. How yeah. far does it go down? Well, how about we go upstairs and get a room and see for yourself? Yuck. What happened to Carly? You had another fight with Jax and decided to go dumpster diving? I thought we were just playing for a dance. Yeah, well, we can do that upstairs, too. <laughs> Drinking at Jake's in the middle afternoon, why am I not surprised? I'm not allowed to have fun? With that. Um, Patrick, why do you care what Carly does with her time? So did you plan on coming home tonight or no? You're always at the hospital. What do you care? Do so you spend all hours of the day at Jake's taunting around, acting like a tramp? Oh, don't get holier than that with me. You know, Carly, I should have seen you coming. You cheated on your first husband with me, and now you're just repeating the pattern. Repeating what pattern? At least Tony still wanted me after the ring on my finger. Oh, yeah, Tony's a gem. Cheating on Bobby with you. What do you care? Dry. What the hell do you care? You got what you wanted. Well, you took every penny you could from me. Yeah, and those pennies funded your career. You know that thing that you're so obsessed with when you're not tasting every new nurse that walks into the hospital? My God, why the hell did I marry you? No, Patrick, this is wrong. Because I died, you married Carly? You <laughs> are selfish, self-absorbed, and you are a sorry excuse for a husband. But I am your husband, whether you like it or not, and it's embarrassing having the town slut as a wife. Robin is supposed to be your wife, Patrick. What happened to Robin? Hey, Maxie. I really miss you. We all miss you. So much. Robin, I'm sorry to tell you this, but... You need me way more than I realized. That outfit is a nightmare. Nothing was ever really right after you died. You were so outgoing and talkative. So strong in your opinions. I wish I was more like that. My life seems to be on permanent hold. Being you to be positive isn't really an excuse. I don't know, maybe Uncle Mac is my excuse. I still live with him. <laughs> Crazy, right? I wish that you were alive. I think that you could help me figure out what life should be.